friends on YouTube, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully honest tech, tech so honest to what? If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back again. I hope you'll do it over and over and over and over. You know what to do if that's something you want to do. Okay, so today we're going to talk about two different headphones. Uh, kind of the same, but kind of different. We've got here the Beats Studio Wireless Three. These are the most recent Studio Wireless Beats. I've had them for a little over a year. I've had another pair before. They are a known quantity. They're, they're Beats. I'm not going to denigrate the Beats. I, I actually, I've had these for a while, like I said, and, and I've enjoyed using them. But in this hand, I have the Soundcore Life Q. 20s. These cost $349 regular retail. You can find it for cheaper, but but that's how much they cost. These Soundcore from Anchor, they cost uh, $60. Anchor's been around for a while, and they have done headphones for a while. And these are their wireless noise-canceling headphones, the Life Q 20s. How much do they cost, Jason? They cost $60. Dollars. Is it possible that these $60 headphones could compete with the $350 Beats Studio Wireless? Well, the Beats Studio Wireless, which I, it, I, Beats has a bad reputation, of course. People don't like Beats because it's cool to not like Beats. But there's a lot that I do like about the Beats Studio Wireless. Uh, they're, they're comfortable. Uh, the leather on the cups is very nice. There's a rubber on the top here that's very nice. The sound is, is very... Well, not very. The sound, the sound is good. Let's just get straight to it. I have no idea how the people over at Soundcore have done this. This is like black magic. It's witchcraft. But something is going on over here because not only these, but they're uh, they're just wireless headphones, the Q20s or the Q10s, the Life Q10s, sound unbelievably good. Unbelievably good. Like You don't have to take my word for it. My friend Travis MCP has talked about it. My friend Viper's talked about it. My friend El Jefe at El Jefe Reviews has talked about it. There's something going on here. So let's talk a little bit about the sound signature of each and the sort of features and and we'll just compare them. I had never really stopped and compared the Beats. The Beats are the same price as the Sony uh, wireless noise canceling headphones. They're about the same price as the Bose wireless noise canceling headphones. I knew they didn't sound quite as good as those, but they are stylish and they come in these nice, I don't know, I kind of like them. So this was the first time that I compared the sound of these to the sound of something else. I will say that the sound signature of these which is just not as not not good just not good i mean for the price not good at all uh it's a little the sound is a little forward maybe a, a little flat the sound stage not not very wide there wasn't very much space in between everything in fact there was some some bass that was somewhat pleasing, but it also led to some sort of congestion in the overall sound. And I had never thought that about these. I had never thought that about these. I had always uh, kind of kind of given them the benefit of the doubt as being relatively decent, even if not the best in class. These also have the W1 chip that uh, that was out in the original AirPods, the precursor to the H1 chip that lets these be, uh, hook up to every Apple device that you own, and it's just the pairing process is a lot easier. If you pair these to your iPad or iPhone or something like that, then you can connect these to just about any other Apple device that you have once you've paired them the first time. Very convenient, very good, and I've loved that about AirPods ever since AirPods became a, became AirPods. These were, I think, the only other headphone besides the original AirPods at the time that they were released that had that feature. And that feature is, is really good. The build quality on these things, I mean, they, you know, they're, they're, they're portable, they fold down, they feel good. As I said, the leather in the here and the cups is nice. The ear hole may be a little bit small, but not too bad. This rubber is, is grippy but it doesn't yank at your hair or anything. The, these, the, uh, this has gotten looser over time, but it's still pretty good. You know, you still can get your fit right. Yeah, 
Not bad. Power button right here. The noise canceling on these is actually really very good. Uh, not as good as the Sony or the Bose. Both of those are better, but it is good. When you put these on, let's say you're in a room with an air conditioner going or you're on a plane or something like that, you put these on, that sound pretty much goes away. That, and that's kind of what it's supposed to do. Battery life-wise, the Beats Studio Wireless get an advertised 22 hours of battery life, which I maybe 20 maybe 20 that's been my experience and maybe over the year that i've had it it's gotten just a little bit less but not too bad one thing that i found though is that there's no there's no sort of standby power off thing so if you fall asleep with them on or you don't for you, you forget to press that power button then you're pretty likely going to wake up the next day with no power to your beats. So let's talk for a moment about the Q20, the Soundcore Life Q20 from Anchor. Uh, all plastic build. Uh, this little adjustment's a little loose. Uh, this leather is soft and uh, it feels like it's some kind of memory foam. It doesn't feel premium, but it feels okay. There's the same kind of material up here at the headband, this sort of pleather, and uh, it's soft enough. It does not feel expensive. It doesn't, it's, they're not expensive headphones. You've got controls for volume up, down, uh, play, pause. You've got a button for t turning on and off the noise canceling, and you've got your power button here. They've got big L, <laughs> L and uh, R inside. Fit wise, they're lighter, they're comfortable, they're lighter than the Beats, they're very comfortable. The sound of these guys is where the witchcraft begins, because whereas the Beats sounded sort of like forward and just a little squashed and not, not terrible but not great, these by comparison sound open, they sound a little bit more laid back, there is more space in the stereo field in general, there's not as much bass. I know that the Q10s have like a, a bass boost feature, the, the what is the noise cancelling button here is a bass boost feature there. I think that these are supposed to have bass boost available. I don't use that, so I haven't looked for it, and it's not readily n noticeable on the on the headphones themselves. There's a little inconsistency here on the stitching of the ear cup. It's nothing terrible. When working with both of these, when testing them out together, I, I listened to a bunch of different things that were sort of had different dynamic levels and, and that kind of thing. And in every instance, these were more open, the vocals the, were more centered, the, there was a much stronger center image than there were on the beats. I, j I really don't understand, I, I don't know how, how Soundcore has done this. Uh, they have the lay flat. If you're down, if you like, if you want lay flat, and if you're, if you're traveling with these, this is really useful. No lay flat on the beats. And they also fold up and they come with a pouch and they come with an aux cable and they come with the micro USB. Unfortunately, it's micro USB, but that's maybe one of the places where they were able to cut corners in order to get to the price point that they've gotten to. These headphones are high res audio certified and, and high res audio certification is not something that you just, you just put the logo on the box there's a certification process that goes along with it i've been negative about bluetooth headphones i've kind of thought of bluetooth headphones as like well they're good enough they're good enough and i'll just sort of tolerate them for the convenience of you know this is the first time that i would say not just good enough actually really good. I actually enjoy listening to music with these on and that is something that I never, I knew I would say eventually, but I never thought I would say in anytime soon about a wireless headphone and nor did I think that I would say it about a $60 wireless headphones. So why is this such a big deal to me? Is this such a big deal? I mean, is it that, that surprising that you go on Amazon and you pay $60 and you get something that sounds better than these $350 Beats Studio Wireless? It's not terribly surprising, I guess. No, I'm lying. It was surprising. They are that good. They are that good. For $60, they are that good. I keep saying $60 because I think my brain just doesn't even want to believe it anymore, but it's true. The noise canceling on these is, is also very nice. I'd say it's right on par with the Beats. One thing that people pay for in headphones is durability. And you would think that a $60 headphone uh, would not be all that durable. How durable are these Life Q20s? They broke. They broke. They broke. So, not that durable. And I broke my monitor. <laughs> 
$60 versus $350 and $60 wins. It absolutely wins the Soundcore Life Q20 noise canceling wireless headphones are not just a little bit better, but a lot better than the Beats Studio Wireless at $350. I'm gonna be back with a review of the Q10s, their non-noise canceling brethren. And uh, I've got a lot of other videos about headphones and gaming headsets and that kind of stuff. And I'm gonna link some of those right here, but let me know what you think. And, and let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. But if you're brand new here, I hope you do consider hitting that subscribe button. Until the next time, my name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech, so honest, it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.